Hi guys, Miss Yance at 88 here, and today I have a very special tutorial on how to do a resin piece. This is technically my first resin piece I've ever done, and I use the Envirotex Pour On, and I'm using some plastic cups, as well as a, um, this is basically a Slurpee spoon, where, straw, I'm sorry, where it has the spoon on the end, and I'm going to be making a piece with these bottle caps. And I'm also going to be using this hot glue gun to glue them down for the first stages so they don't float up from the resin. And I'm going to go ahead and do that first and then make sure you have your workspace protected so I have the cling wrap below it as well. And I am so excited that this turned out so well and I'm hoping to do more pieces in the future. I'm actually working on some for my bridesmaids. Shh, don't tell them. And um, I'm really excited how well this turned out so please continue watching and you'll get to see all the different steps I did and how long it took me and it was much fun it was tons of fun so here I am hot gluing down all the bottle caps in the placement that I've kind of laid them out here and I'm doing this just so they don't float up through the resin um, and it also I'm trying to put big globs of hot glue underneath them to eliminate some of the bubbles that will kind of be residing under there. This board I got at Hobby Lobby and it was originally like a pine brown kind of color. I just painted it white um, with some acrylic paint that I had. Um, I did like a coat and a half, so it's not fully opaque, but I kind of like to see some of the wood grain come through. And I did that just to make the bottle caps pop a little bit more. Strangely enough, this part took the longest to do. Um, it wasn't hard or anything, but it did take a while to do just to lay them all out and hot glue them all down. just a close-up of kind of the work I was doing so towards the end there I figured out it would be easier to do just a strip of glue and then to lay them on like right at the apex of the curve for the top of the um, bottle caps. And I've just been collecting these from all the parties and things that we've been having over the years. I mean this is years of collecting. Here I'm just taking off all the strings from the hot glue and getting it prepared to do the resin. So with my resin you're supposed to pour equal amounts of the resin and the hardener into separate cups. Then you mix them in one cup and then you pour them into a secondary cup to mix again. So these cups are nice because they have lines on them so I'm doing this just above like the big bottom line. Um, and I know this won't be a complete pour over the whole thing. I wanted to start out with a thin layer to kind of just coat the bottoms of everything. 
Um, it's best with resin to work in layers so that you don't um, have one big thick layer where it makes the bubbles harder to rise out and pop. Um, then you might get a bubblier piece. So I pour all of this one into the other one. And then I'm taking this and kind of scraping out as much as I can of it. And then you're supposed to stir it for two minutes with each pour. And what I mean by pour is the next time after stirring this for two minutes, I'm going to stir it into the other one and pour it from there. So you can see um, just barely, it's kind of um, swirly, like there's, uh, you can tell when you look at the resin, but it has like this kind of weird swirl pattern as you start to mix it. And you'll just keep mixing it until you don't see that anymore. And that's when you know everything's uh, completely mixed through. And I'm going to pour it into the secondary cup to do a second two minute mix. So all together it should be about four minutes mixed. And this just makes sure that it's a well mixed batch. After this, uh, you can leave it sitting for five minutes to just see if any of those air bubbles are going to come up and pop. Um, but I didn't really have that many, so I went ahead and poured straight after I mixed it. Alright, here is my first pour. I'm just kind of spreading it around with the base of this straw, which kind of has a big spoon on the end to help push it through all the nooks and crannies. I'm basically just trying to get one even cover on the bottoms of everybody first. Just tapping it to help it be a little bit more even and then this is the next day so I let the bottom layer cure overnight and then I'm gonna go ahead and pour my second layer on all of them as you can see here where my fingers are kind of clicking in um, there are divots between all the different ones so we're gonna go ahead and this time I decided to use a, a knife to try and spread it a little bit better and I found this method worked best when I was trying to make a better even surface. resin is it isn't really runny so it's not going to go like off the edges very easily unless you kind of allow it to. And here I'm just mixing up a secondary batch so I can go ahead and pour a little bit on for this layer because it was a little bit too little. <laughs> um, it's hard to judge how much you're doing on a bigger project like this and how much you're really going to need. I 
here I'm just taking a match. If you have a lighter, it would be better, but I don't have lighters. I just had a match, so I'm just going over and popping some of the big bo bobbles with that and doing the same with the straw. So then I'm just going to go ahead and pour on some more resin from there. Some of these pieces were a little bit thicker than the other, so I'm just kind of adding it in the middle to try and cover those guys up a little bit. Again, I'm tapping to help um, those air bubbles rise up and then using a match again to kind of pop those bubbles. And then using the straw for some more of the micro bubbles. The straw worked out really well, much better than I actually expected it to. It was very easy to pop the bubbles with the straw. And as you can see, I tried to do a few more pieces, um, and here I am just doing this like a final kind of layer to just make sure all the little things are covered, and I'm also kind of giving it um, more of a beveled edge on the tops of these. In the background, those two pieces that are colorful, um, that's actually just clear resin with, um, if you've seen it, it's the Sharpie um, watercolor method with alcohol and Sharpies. Um, and I, they turned out so cool, I just don't know what to do with them, so I'm thinking about um, what to do with them. And then these two in the front in the red are actually um, clear resin with some buttons in them. And then these three in the back in the red are um, just different glitters in them. So here I am just kind of um, beveling the edges and just using all of the last of my resin through here. Alright, so here's the finished product. So you can see, I have a nice... What's this for? And it's nice and level. Thank you so much so for watching and have a magical day. Bye! It has these cute little hikers on the back. This is the finished product. I think it turned out really well. God, it's hot outside. <laughs>